Okay. Um, Sam, just what, what was your overall take on the scrimmage? Um, I thought our defense um, played much better uh, this week, much harder. Uh, seemed like they were uh, in better shape than they were a week ago. Uh, uh, well prepared for the scrimmage, uh, ran on and off the field, uh, made a lot of plays, whether it be uh, tackles for loss, uh, causing fourth downs on third and three, um, a lot of turnovers uh, for the offense, which means the defense forced them. But uh, I thought the defense definitely won uh, today. Uh, the only thing that they did not win was a goal line situation and uh, for a four minute situation. Other than that, they uh, dominated uh, the scrimmage. Does that make you feel good about the defense or sort of bad about the offense? I guess it's always one way or the other. Well, I think uh, I've been around a long time and you'd probably be more concerned if one side won a scrimmage every single time. Um, a lot of times it's like in life, you know, people pat you on the back and you get complacent. And I'm not saying that we did that on offense, but Certainly, we weren't the same offense that we were a week ago, nor was the defense the same a week ago. So, uh, obviously, anytime you improve, you have to feel good about one side. And then, is there concern about us hold, holding on to the ball? Absolutely. Coach? Yeah, Coach, uh, Kyle told us that there were three interceptions. Uh, do you know who, which quarterbacks threw them, and how did the quarterbacks look in general? Uh, not good. I mean, we didn't look good today. Uh, we didn't make good decisions. Uh, we have to get better there. We have to play with more confidence. We have to protect them better. Um, uh, but um, from a week ago to this week, it just uh, it, it was not acceptable play by that position, and they know it. And and uh, certainly we'll get better. Tom. I had a more of a big picture question. Um, given the totality of everything that's gone on since you've gotten this head coaching job and the fact you're going into a season where there might be some unknowns and stuff, how do you, how do you feel about where you guys are and like where you're headed? I'm proud of our kids, you know, I'm proud of the quarterbacks too. I want them to play better and so do they. Uh, but we're, 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 we have a long way to go, but we've, we've, we've come a long way as well. We've come a long way with our toughness, our execution. Uh, we've come together as a football team. Uh, our effort is much better than what it was. Our complaining is much lower than what it was. And the bottom line, I told them after practice today that look, uh, we're going to end up having X number of guys that we're taking on the road or we're having at home. And whether it be from uh, injury or whether it be from uh, COVID situation or whether it be from something personal happened to somebody in their life and we don't have them, we're going to go play somebody. And uh, I, I think we are starting to have that mentality of, Look, we got enough to go out there and compete. Let's go out there and compete. And, and I'm, I'm proud of that. There wasn't any that woe is me. Uh, I'm not getting enough reps. I'm, you know, that, that's just a losing mentality. And we, I did not see that today. Even when the offense was getting beat up, it wasn't that way. Scotty. Hey, Sam, I'm curious if you, maybe learned anything about your linebackers group today or do you feel, I mean, do you feel better or the same as you did about that group than last week? Well, um, you know, when we, when we go, it's usually because the D lines very, you know, becomes disruptive. I did see them guys making some plays in there. Parker, I saw them make some plays. Draper seemed to play uh, well today. And, and, um, and uh, I saw JT make a few plays in there today. So, um, you know, Edwards is a guy that can run. So 
I think they made more plays because I don't. I don't think last week, if you know, honestly, they they know they didn't play very well, and I think uh, they made some plays today. Trey Biddy. Yeah, coach. I was wondering if there was anything maybe in pregame or maybe just during the week of practice that might have led you guys to think that maybe the defense would would get the best of the offense today. No, to be honest with you, Trey. Uh, practices haven't necessarily shown the offense as the dominant one on a regular basis. You know, uh, going into last week's scrimmage, uh, you know, you always have your, you know, what's going to happen here. Uh, so for the offense to do as well as they did, I, I'm totally honest, I was a little surprised because we hadn't necessarily done that in the practices. Well, the other thing is we hadn't tackled but one time before that. So, uh, you know, they obviously breaking tackles, doing some things a day. Probably the most uh, pleasing thing is how they ran to the football today. I was very excited about that. But again, we put the ball on the ground. We gave it to them, throwing it to them, and and we put the ball on the ground. You can't you can't win. We had a, the first drive. We drove down to the, about the nine on offense, and then uh, threw a pick. You know, and then that that's about it until we got to goal line and to the two minutes or four minute situation. And the lightning cost us uh, uh, a four minute situation with the twos in both situations in two minutes. But that was a long answer, Trey. But no, I, I, I was more surprised how well the offense did last week because the defense had been playing really well and, and they came back this week like normally it happens. And honestly, I was hoping that they would. Otis. Coach, I guess this is probably the wrong week to ask this, but you talked the other day about tight ends and linebackers, you know, being kind of a couple of positions up in the air. Uh, did anyone at tight end no, I, do much to separate himself today? No, I don't think so. I think we have a pretty good battle there. You know, a lot of times you, you talk about a battle and that, you know, that I don't want to get that misinterpreted that, you know, we don't have any good players. We, we, you know, you have a battle. A lot of times that means you have two or three good players. Uh, but I think Blaine Toll is rapidly moving up uh, the chart there. And I know uh, Hudson caught, caught a pass or two today and different things. But that group's just got to ha have more physicality to it. And, and they know it. And, and uh, so I'm not telling you anything I haven't told them. But I, I don't know that today, you know, I haven't watched the tape yet. And so blocking wise, uh, I'll have to look and see how they did there. But I do know that Hudson had a couple of catches, but I, I don't know how the entire group looked. I was proud of Bax during the week because he's training. He's, he's, he knows how to strain. And, and uh, so we'll see once I find out. Uh, linebacker wise, I saw Draper make some plays, you know, so hopefully, hopefully it's, it's what I saw, you know, hopefully on tape is what I think I saw out there live. All right, round two, Bob. Ah. Sam, where, where do you feel like you guys are after, I guess, three weeks? What do you need to get done these last two weeks going into the game? And what do you, what, what, what do you want to get done and what do you need to get done? I still feel like next week is a big work week for us. Now we're, we're uh, four, four practices, a uh, little bit different days, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, next week. Um, but it, it, to me, it's, it's, it's just very similar. And obviously, we found out we got to take care of the ball better. We didn't have that problem last week, but those, that'll be a big emphasis. Strain will be a big emphasis. Working on Arkansas will be a big emphasis. And it, it, it all goes with our mental toughness. And are, are, are we willing to go out there when it, we get tired or when we get down? Are we be willing to fight? And to me, that's, that's what we have to get better at. And uh, I think we, we made strides last week, but we certainly have a ways to go in that. And our kids are willing to do that. So I feel like this next week, we're going to work again. We're not going to talk about Georgia. We're not going to start preparing for Georgia. Uh, it's way too early to do that, in my opinion. Nate? Sam, did everybody, uh, or as far as 
everybody make it through the scrimmage health wise and also how did the special teams anybody kick yeah i'm glad work? you asked about the special teams carrington carrington had a really really good day um, punted well uh, we had a little punt competition out there as well as a field goal competition and uh, and he did a a, a, a really good job uh, um, and we also had a couple of kickers make 52 yard field goals today and they were both four out of five uh, both guys so uh, I was really pleased with the kicking overall today. I thought it was much better than last week. Um, so I think we got better there. And, uh, you know, obviously you you boom one a long ways or make a long field goal. It just does wonders for your confidence. And that's what we needed with all those kids. Yeah, Coach. Uh you had mentioned left guard was was kind of still up in the air, and I think right tackle as well. I mean, what where, what did you see from those positions today? Who all is working in there? Well, um, we moved Latham a little bit in there today at, at guard. And, you know, obviously we had Clinton. Obviously, um, we've had Clary, um, but we moved Latham in there today. I, I don't know, you know. Uh, you know, on the old line, if one guy misses block, it looked terrible. You know, he may have played really well. I, I don't know that one. You really, the results weren't good, uh, but you you have to look at maybe who who's the problem with the results. And and I don't know how he did. I know we did uh, play him uh, with the ones at left guard because I think he's been playing well at tackle. Um, you know, I think Wagner's coming on. Uh, at the other tackle, of course, Cunningham's the other guy. So uh, I, I believe Henderson had a, a much better scrimmage this week. So we'll find out. I don't really know yet, but I, to, to answer your question, I don't know if we're quite solid with who's going to be that guy at left guard or, for that matter, uh, uh, right tackle right now. Tom. I got a couple quick things. Did y'all go mostly ones versus ones or mix it up? How did, how did you do that today? We did it identical to last week where we started out ones versus twos, twos versus ones, and then the entire rest of the scrimmage is one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-two, two, and, and we had some threes at, uh, in there as well. But um, the first 15 plays was one-on-twos, then two-on-ones for 15, and then after that, and that's 30, so the rest of it, whether it's 90, 95 plays, goes one-on-one, -on -one, two on two. Because you missed some of the live tackling, you mentioned the four-minute periods and the two-minute, will you uh, try to tack on maybe something during the upcoming week to make up for that on the live tackling part? Well, um, we're definitely, you know, what we're trying to do now is find out what our problem is and – make an emphasis of it of the day. And uh, so we certainly will. Uh, the tackling I was, I was uh, pleased with today, but the ball security, uh, you better make sure bet you we're going to make an emphasis on that. Hi. Hey, Sam, I'm curious, what would your assessment be of your receiver position, you know, maybe behind guys like Knox, Burks, and, and Woods right now? Well, you know, Davion Warren, uh, Hammond, um, those are the guys that I, you know, behind the, the, the first three that I could think of that have, you know, that have made plays. Uh, we're a little thin right there right now. Um, some of it's injury wise as well, uh, that we're gonna get some guys back, but we're just a little thin right now. But those two guys are guys who to me have have have, have stuck out. Trey Biddy. Coach, was it was it the same like 120 plays, 50 first team, 50 second team, 25 ish? Same deal. And uh, the same Trey, except for um, we did we did not run last week I think we got 24 plays with the threes and and I'm not talking about all threes I'm saying three on three because obviously if you're close to a two we'll get you in with the twos you know get you some reps in there but 
You know, I know every rep that everybody's going to take before the scrimmage start and every touch that a running back's going to get. I know how many we want him to get and the whole nine yards. But this week, uh, uh, you know, we didn't feel like we quite had the numbers to get all the threes out there. So they didn't get, they got 10 reps instead of 24. And on the, Kyle mentioned a couple of uh, explosive plays. Traylon Smith had a 40 yard catch and run and a 20 yard run. And then Dominic Johnson had a, 20-yard catch from KJ in a 40-yard run. Uh, can you just kind of tell us maybe how those plays developed? Were they tackle break? Were they bust? Uh, it's just out in open space and making guys miss uh, a couple of them. And then and we had a we well-blocked inside. Uh, I think one of those runs ended with a fumble, uh, however. And, uh, and then Trey Knox got a long pass in the four-minute and did a nice job of getting down, understanding the situation, you know. Uh, but other than that, there wasn't a whole lot of offensive highlights, you know. I think Kyle probably pretty much cleaned them all up whenever he talked to you. Nick. Sam, you mentioned the place kickers. Uh, what, what two, was it Reed and who else that you were talking about? Oh, who, Phillip Shep. Phillips was the other one out there that got kicked. I, I knew who it was, and I forgot forgot it because we've got a few kickers. But Phillips was the guy out there along with Reed. And, and uh, you know, to be honest with you, 52 on both of them, on Reed and Phillips, uh, was in a little bit of a breeze. And both of them had a little extra to go on it. So I was real, real happy with that. Thanks. We've got time for a couple more. Let me know in the chat if you've got more. Hutch. Yes, Sam. Uh, Levi Draper is not a guy we've heard much about this camp, but you said he had a good day today. What's his camp been like, and how have you seen him improve? Uh, well, he's starting to understand the defense a little bit more. You know, I, 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 Coach Rhodes is a great coach. I just talked to him about, hey, man, your job as a linebacker, go make a tackle, you know, and uh, – you know, all this spilling to spill to do this, to do that. Hey, man, can't tackle the ball, the guy with the ball, you know. And uh, and I thought he did that today. I think, to be honest with you, I think he's doing a lot of processing. If you're processing, you're not reacting. And in this league, if you're processing, you're getting beat. So uh, I just think he's probably uh, learned the offense or the defense a little bit better. Getting more comfortable. Trey Shap. Coach, obviously, with the ball being put on the ground, was that because it wasn't secure? Was it better tackling? What was the the reason for so much of the, the balls coming out? Well, obviously, if the ball's coming out and you have it secure and the ball's coming out and you feel like you're holding it high and tight, then the defense is doing an outstanding job of stripping the ball or have a physical, you know, helmet on ball or whatever it may be. I don't think that was necessarily the case today. I think we were loose with the football. And uh, honestly, we're a little nonchalant, I thought, on offense as a whole. And, uh, and, it, and it showed. And so, um, you know how it is. You, you go out there and you think you're, you're ready for something just because you can walk out on the field. Well, someone's going to figure out that uh, you're not quite as ready as you thought you were. And that the defense did that figuring out today. Uh, three more. Bob. Hey, Sam, you know, so, some coaching staffs, they kind of divide up special teams. Duties. Some have a coordinator. You have a coordinator. Um, well, what was it about, uh, I guess, uh, Coach Fowler made you decide to bring him with you? What kind of job do you think he's doing? And what's your philosophy on special teams as far as, you know, uh, emphasis? Well, first of all, I think Scott Fowler is as good a coordinator as there is in America, and I really do. I mean, I do. He was the first guy I offered a job to. Uh, second of all, I mean, you can lose or win games strictly – It'd be even even if your special teams are better than theirs, you can win it, and I believe that. And I, I and I believe that if you don't have a coordinator in charge of it, then why would you have an offensive coordinator? Just to let four guys go out there and figure out who's calling the plays. That just doesn't make any sense to me. 
Uh, our, our kids need to understand how important it is. And to me, the only way you can put that down is if you've got a coordinator, you know, Scott's assistant head coach. I think a lot of him, but I also feel like uh, he's very important. Our guys are buying in. Our kids now, they work in special teams. And um, I feel like we've got good punters and kickers and good returners. And I've been very pleased with Scott. And more importantly, I've been really pleased with the effort of our kids. Um. Back on the linebackers, you know, Grant was a middle middle linebacker. Uh, Bumper was weak last year, weak side. And Hayden, I think, some strong side. Are they still in those spots? And who, wh what does the depth look like that behind them? Who, who's playing middle? Who's playing weak? Uh, right now, Edwards is playing weak side linebacker. Uh, Parker's playing the middle, Draper's playing both sides, JT playing both sides, and uh, uh, that's what's happening. Hey, Betty. Uh, I, I had plenty. Yeah, Coach, uh, on the Knox catch, was that – you said it was he got down and stuff. Was that like a situation where you're protecting the lead and yeah. running out? Uh, we were in a no-score situation, and uh, – and he caught one basically a no score. That means, hey, if we get the first down, we can just nail it and game be over. I don't care what the score is. We're ahead. It doesn't matter. You know, we want to win the football game and not have an opportunity for the defense of, of our opponent to take it away from us. So we were in a no, no score situation. He caught a ball. Uh, basically, I don't know. I think he probably could have scored. He may, maybe I don't know. But I do know when he caught the ball, he ran a couple strides and got down. A very, very smart play by him. And we did not do that last week in a two-minute, and we learned from that as well. And that's coaching. That's everything we learned as a group. And, uh, and I thought that was a really smart play by him. You know, you can talk about things, but it's the action that happens in those two, three, four, five seconds that matters. And he did a nice job with that. All right, that's going to wrap us up. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you, Coach.